Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an interesting issue that has raised the worldwide community's interest that'll blow your mind. Prepare to be surprised as we delve into the surprising turn of events surrounding the top 20 mega China projects in Africa. Currently, China is engaging in infrastructure projects in 35 African nations. Angola, Nigeria and Sudan have a high concentration of projects. However, China is proposing a fresh wave of investments in other nations, including the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The country's operations have been distributed pretty evenly between two primary sectors, power generation, particularly hydropower, and transportation, particularly railroads, followed by the ICT industry, mostly equipment supply. Water projects receive the least attention. Let's embark on this interesting journey together. As we uncover the amazing story of how China is involved in these mega projects, we will discover the fascinating considerations that inspired these major projects as we dig into the fascinating world of the makers. Join us as we examine and know if there is more to the story than joining us on this journey. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned to discover the reality behind this. Over the last decade, China has risen to become several African countries' single largest trading partner. It has also been a key source of financial assistance for the continent's many development programs. Infrastructure development is an important component of the China-Africa partnership. Infrastructure projects given to Chinese enterprises in Africa are funded by their governments through loans and grants. Based on the cost of construction, here are 20 of the mega infrastructure projects in Africa funded by China. Here we go, let the countdown begin. 1. Nigeria Coastal Railway This is Africa's largest deal ever given to a Chinese corporation. The project is valued at $12 billion. On November 19, 2014, the Federal Republic of Nigeria and China Railway Construction Corps, or CRCC, inked a contract. The railway is 1,402 kilometers long and would connect Lagos, the nation's economic powerhouse, with the eastern city of Calabar traveling through 10 states. It'll also connect towns to the oil-rich Niger Delta State. 2. Tanzania Port of Bagamoyo The project is valued at $7 billion. It is supported by China Merchants Holdings International and the Oman Government State Government Reserve Fund. The port is being developed at Bagamoyo, Tanzania, a seaside town. It'll be able to handle around 20 million containers per year and will be the largest port on the East African coastline, larger than Kenya's port of Mombasa. Its construction began in October 2015 but was suspended earlier this year owing to the Tanzanian government's budgetary constraints. Tanzania is building an $11 billion megaport in the Swahili heritage town of Bagamoyo as it strives to become a regional economic powerhouse. 3. Bagamoyo Port which is mostly sponsored by China, is scheduled to handle 20 million containers per year by 2045, making it the largest such facility in East Africa. Tanzania, China, and Oman are collaborating on the project. The port is being built by the state-owned China Merchants Port, and an Omani Sovereign Wealth Fund will develop a 1,700 hectare special economic zone close to it. 4. South Africa's Modern Fontaine New City Project the Mater Fontaine New City project is being created on the outskirts of Johannesburg, the country's capital. The $7 billion project is one of the largest real estate projects done by a Chinese corporation in the country. Shanghai Zendai, a Chinese business, is creating the city, which will eventually house at least 10,000 people. Finance and trade services, an industrial zone, sports and entertainment facilities, and an African heritage theme park will be available in the city. Modern Fontaine Mega Metropolis is an $8 billion Chinese-funded metropolis being created in Modern Fontaine, Johannesburg, South Africa to serve as a center for Chinese enterprises investing in Africa. The Shanghai Zendai Group planned the 1,600-hectare Modern Fontaine Mega City, which will be the company's first venture estate. Work in the projected Modern Fontaine Mega City, which received its groundbreaking in 2015, is scheduled to be finished within the next 15 to 20 years. The Modern Fontaine Mega City, one of South Africa's largest development projects, will feature commercial, industrial, and residential components. 5. Kenya Standard Gauge Railway This is Kenya's largest infrastructure project since independence. It is valued at $3.8 billion. China Exim Bank has contributed 85% of the project's funding, about $3.1 billion. The 609-kilometer rail line's construction began in October 2013. 
The first section, linking Mombasa to Nairobi, is expected to be completed by December 2017. The railway connection will make it easier for passengers and goods to travel between the two cities. It is part of a contemporary standard gauge railway linking Kenya to Uganda, Rwanda, and South Sudan. 6. Barter Contract for Mine Infrastructure DRC. The agreement was signed on September 17, 2007 by the Government of Democratic Republic of the Congo and China. It is valued at $6 billion and is backed by China Exim Bank. The agreement called for the development of minefields in the Mashamba and Dima basins, as well as in Kolwezi. In exchange for the financing, the government of the Democratic Republic of the Congo agreed to provide copper mines containing roughly 10.6 million tons of copper for exploration and mining by Chinese businesses. 7. Railway between Chad and Sudan The project is valued at $5.6 billion. On March 14, 2014, the government of Chad and China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation signed it. The 1,344-kilometer railway is being built in three stages and will connect the two countries with Cameroon. Its development began in October of 2014. China Export-Import Bank has contributed $2 billion, with the remainder coming from Chinese government financing. 8. Expansion of Dangote Cement PLC The agreement was inked by Africa's largest cement maker, Aliko Dangote, and Sonoma International Engineering Company Limited, a Chinese construction business. It is valued at $4.34 billion. Dangote Cement PLC is expanding into Nigeria, Ethiopia, Kenya, Zambia, Senegal, Mali, Cameroon, and Ivory Coast. This will increase cement production by 25 million metric tons and boost the overall production to over 70 million metric tons annually. 9. Mozambique's Mfada Nukua Dam and Hydroelectric Station Project It is valued at $3.1 billion. On April 21, 2006, the Mozambican government and the Export-Import Bank of China inked the agreement. When completed, the project will deliver 1,500 megawatts of power to Mozambique's national electrical grid. The project also includes the construction of the Muamba Major Dam, which will provide drinking water to Maputo citizens. 10. Malawi Infrastructure Projects China has invested $1.7 billion in infrastructure projects in the country of Southern Africa. The agreement comprises a $300 million coal-fired power station in Kamwamba and a $285.4 million rehabilitation of Chileka International Airport. Other projects include the $169.4 million Tangano Mwanda in Tanzania Road Building, the $189.3 million upgrade of the Fombea Makanjira on Kotakota Chataloma 220 kV power line, and the $23 million construction of the Ballantyre District Hospital and Cancer Center. 11. Railway from Port Sudan to Khartoum The project is estimated to cost $1.3 billion. Sudan and two Chinese enterprises, China Railway Engineering Group Company Limited and China Railway Urju Company Limited, inked it on February 28, 2007. The Chinese government sponsored it with export credits. The 762-kilometer rail network connects Port Sudan to the country's capital, Khartoum, and was completed in 2012. 12. Mambila Hydroelectric Power Plant Nigeria is building a huge hydropower dam in order to increase its energy production. The Mombila Hydroelectric Power Project, which has been planned for more than three decades, is one of Africa's largest building projects. The 5.8 billion Mombila Hydroelectric Power Project, built by China's Sino Hydro Corps, would connect three dams across the Dunga River in Taraba State, Nigeria. The facility's overall installed capacity will be 3,050 megawatt of power. 13. The Great Ethiopian Dam the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, originally known as the Millennium Dam, is a gravity dam being built on Ethiopia's Blue Nile River near Benishangul Gumus. Work on the 6,000 megawatt dam began in 2011 and is presently 70% complete, falling well short of the July 2017 completion schedule. When finished, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will be Africa's largest hydroelectric power facility and the world's seventh largest. It is expected that it'll take 5 to 15 years to fill the reservoir with water. However, rights organizations have criticized the $4.8 billion complex, claiming that it has displaced roughly 20,000 people. 14. Standard Gauge Railway in Kenya 
Kenya is constructing a 969-kilometer standard gauge railway from Mombasa to Malaba at a cost of $9.9 billion, regarded as one of Africa's greatest infrastructure projects. The first phase of the project, which runs 472 kilometers from Mombasa to Nairobi, costs $3.27 billion, while Phase 2A, which runs 120 kilometers from Nairobi to Naivasha, cost $1.5 billion. Phase 2B of the railway from Naivasha to Kisumu, 270 kilometers, would cost $3.8 billion, while Phase 2C, a 107-kilometer extension from Kisumu to Malaba, will cost $1.31 billion. 15. Aliko Dangote Refinery Aliko Dangote, Africa's richest man, is constructed a massive oil refinery on the outskirts of Lagos, Nigeria, at a cost of between $12 billion and $14 billion. Dangote Oil Refinery, with a capacity of 650,000 barrels of crude per day, will be one of the world's largest oil refineries when it begins operations in 2022. The refinery will produce Euro V quality gasoline and diesel, as well as a jet fuel and polypropylene, and is estimated to generate 9,500 direct and 25,000 indirect employment. While Dangote secured a $3.3 billion syndicated loan brokered by Standard Chartered PLC, the Dangote oil refinery would be self funded to the tune of 60%. 16. Railway between Lagos and Calabar. The 1,400-kilometer Lagos-Calabar Railway, which will cost $10 billion, is without a doubt one of Africa's largest infrastructure projects. After a Chinese business failed to raise the necessary funding, Ameri Metro Inc., located in the United States, has expressed interest in the project. When finished, the Lagos-Calabar Railway would link the cities of Port Harcourt, Uyo, and Aba, improving the transportation of products and services in the region. 17. Kakulo Kubaka Hydropower Plant in Angola Angola struck a contract with China in 2017 to build the Kakulo Kubaka Hydropower Project in Dondo, Angola. The 67.7 billion South African RAND project will generate 2,172 megawatts of power. It'll take around seven years to finish the project. A comparable project totaling 3.8 billion South African RAND is now underway at the Kaleta Hydropower Station in Guinea, with China paying 75% of the project. 18. Zambia Cement Plant China is in charge of a variety of projects in Zambia, including the China National Building Material, which President Lungu recently opened. The project will be finished in two phases and it'll cost 7.5 billion South African RAND or $500 million. 19. Egypt's New Capital China Fortune Land Development, a Shanghai-listed developer, planned to invest up to 301.1 billion South African rand in a new city in Egypt to establish an upscale residential area, an industrial zone, schools, a university, and recreational facilities. 20. Zimbabwe's New Legislature Before President Robert Mugabe was deposed, China handed him a million-dollar gift, a new parliament. The new parliament building, a gift from the Chinese government, was to be erected at Mount Hampton, some 17 kilometers from Harare, at a cost of 2.1 billion South African rand. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating trip as we've successfully looked at top 20 China mega projects in Africa. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fascinating insights into the world of mega China projects.